Alrighty, we're going to do a little uh, how-to, and this one is uh, dechlorinator. Now, uh, if you're doing water change on your pond without, or your aquarium without a dechlorinator, you need to neutralise the chlorine. Um, you can buy it. You can buy things like NT Labs Chlorgo. Um, that's about 20 quid a litre. So I'm probably going to shoot myself in the foot here because, as you know, I run a pond supply shop. But I'm going to show you how to make this for next to nothing. Um, basically, what you'll need is a set of kitchen scales, a jug, a kettle of boiling water, and some sodium thiosulfate. Um, Sodium thiosulfate is basically the main ingredient of all dechlorinators and it's as cheap as chips. I checked on eBay this morning and you can buy a kilo and a half of sodium thiosulfate for seven pounds. That's enough to make uh, over 10 litres of dechlorinator and when you use it at a rate of uh, 25 millilitres per thousand litres, it goes a long, long way. So basically how we're going to make this is we're going to dissolve sodium thiosulfate into water. Um, and it's, it's very, very simple to do. Get yourself a little tub. Set your scales to zero, and what you're going to need is 130 grams of sodium thiosulfate. Now you don't have to be too precise with this because you can't really overdose it. It's harmless to fish. It's amazing stuff. It will neutralise PP, so you don't need um, hydrogen peroxide. Um, it will neutralise most pond treatments, to be fair. Um, if you put sodium thiosulfate in as a water conditioner, uh, there's no point in treating your pond for a few days afterwards because it will just knock out all the medications you put into your pond and make them almost ineffective. So if you're struggling with, uh, if you've FMG'd your pond or something like that and your fish are struggling, uh, you can throw in some uh, of this mix and it will help to uh, calm everything down in the pond and it will render the FMG pretty much ineffective. So now we've got our 130, or we've got 132 grams here, as I say, you don't have to be mega precise. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to boil a kettle and we're basically going to dissolve that in one litre of water. So I'll come back to you when I've boiled the kettle. Okay, so now we have a steaming hot kettle. Um, be very careful of using kettles. You'll notice this has potassium permanganate staining on it the one I use for doing uh, all my treatments and stuff where I need to dissolve things. So we're going to get really technical now. This is the, the really technical bit. Put your sodium thiosulfate in a jug. And get rid of the scales now. And we're going to add one litre of boiling water. Up to the top, there we go. Optional extras, a spoon. Give it a little stir, make sure everything's dissolved up nicely. Now, the only real difference between this and shop bought stuff is that it's clear, like water. So if you really want to, you can get a little bit of food colouring. And I don't usually do this.
I don't usually do this because um, it's not usually necessary. But for the purposes of the video, if you drop a bit of food colouring into it, it'll go the colour of your choice, which then everyone knows it's not actually just water. So we'll make this a nice yellowy colour. Gives that a good stir. And that's all there is to it. You can now add that, add that to your pond or your aquarium at a rate of 25 millilitres per thousand litres of pond water. When you're doing your pond, always treat the full volume of the pond. Don't just treat the water you're topping up. It will be ineffective. So always treat for the full amount of the pond very important so i could keep you here for another 20 minutes while this cools down and show you how to pour it into a bottle i think most of you probably know how to do that so i'm not going to worry with that one um label your bottle up obviously what it is sodium thiosulfate dechlorinator um i tend to stick a a reminder on of what the dosage is so i'll just put on 600 millilitres for my pond or whatever it works out to i can't remember off the top of my head uh, 25,000 times 25 uh, 25 times 25 which is uh so 25,000 litres that would be 25 millilitres per thousand litres so yeah 25 times 25 um, which is uh, 250 500 about 750 mil, I think, off the top of my head. Um, but obviously, you you just dose it to your pond and the volume of your pond and filters, and that is basically all there is to it. Uh, as I say, you can use it to neutralise PP, which is always handy. You can use it to knock out most chemicals in a pond, basically. But uh, that's it. Homemade dechlorinator. Uh, very tried and tested recipe. I think it was originally published by Manky Sanky some years ago. Um, but there seem to be very few videos or information on doing it, so I thought I'd do a quick one myself. So, uh, yeah, instead of paying 20 quid a litre, um, snip on eBay, get some sodium thiosulfate, and you can make... Uh, 10 litres for about 7 quid. There you go.